This is an example cache analysis problem. Here we're given a piece of code and asked, what does the memory access pattern look like? First, to answer this part of the question, we need to analyze this access pattern. So notice we have a multi-dimensional array. So in this case, it's a two-dimensional array where each dimension is 256 um, entries and it's an array of integers and we're indexing this with i and j which are two loops the outermost loop is i and the inner loop is j so j is the inner loop and that's going to affect our access pattern the most that is the first of the two array indexes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write equation for the address which is accessed when we access a of j i so recall from lecture that j is in the uh, row dimension and i is in the column dimension. So our cache blocks and memory is laid out in this direction, whereas uh, the j dimension is going to um, hop from one end of one row in effect to the next the width of this memory structure is 256 elements and so the address for AIJ is going to be the base address A plus for each time we increment J we have to go a whole nother row so we're going to have 256 times J plus I so each time we increment I we're moving over one element and each element is four bytes big. So our address is going to be the base address A plus 256 times J because this bottom dimension is 256 plus I times the size of each element four. So for example, if we have A of zero, zero, both I and J are zero. So this term is, neg is ignored. We just have the address A. And that's the first address that's going to get accessed by our code, that our code's going to access when i is 0 and j is 0. The next step involves adding 1 to j, and so the second address that's going to get accessed is when j is 1 and i is still 0. In that case, our address is going to be 256 times j, which is in this case the value 1, and i is 0 times 4. And so that's going to be at address a plus 1024. That's 256 times 4 is 1024. Again, every time we increment in the j direction, we're going to add another 1024. So the second element is going to be at 2048 so on and so forth up till the highest value that j is going to reach in this code is 255 since it's going to stop before it gets to 256 and that's going to be at address a plus 255 times 1024 so once j has reached its maximum value we're going to exit this innermost loop and we're going to go back and add 1 to i and then reset j. So the next address that we're going to access is when j is 0 and i is 1. And in that case, the address is 255 times 0 because j got reset to 0. But now we're adding 1 times 4. And so the next address to execute is a plus 4. So we're going to go way back to the beginning and start accessing the next column. So then when we access A of 1, 1, when we add 1 to J, now we're going to increase from that address, from A plus 4, by 1024. So and this keeps repeating that we're going to go all the way to 255 and 1 
So a plus 255 times 1024 plus the value 4. Then when a of 0, 2, we're going to have a plus 8, and then we're going to repeat that whole process. So that's one way we could write the memory access pattern. We'd say dot, 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 and then again there's a dot, dot, dot. Um, alternatively, we can write this in actual addresses in hex. It's the question tells us that the address A starts at address hex 100,000. And so um, I could start saying, okay, at A00, I know the address is A. So the first address that we're going to access is hex 100,000. Um, the second one we're going to access is A plus 1024. So I happen to know that 1024 is the same as 2 to the 10th, which is the same as hex 400. And that's because for this 4 bit that's lit up is the 10th bit if I count from the right. So the second address, A, uh, A plus 1024, would look like this. And every time I add 1024, it's the same as adding hex 400. So I would then access 800, and then I would have a C there. And then finally, uh, if I add 4 to the C, I'm going to uh, carry out into the next column, so on and so forth. Um, so again, I can say dot, dot, dot. Um, and finally, when I get to uh, A of 255 and 0, I happen to know 255 is um, the same as hex FF, that it's the 256 would um, light up the, the ninth bit. Um, and so this is the smallest thing that, that doesn't light up that bit. And so I can write that one as 255 times this, which happens to look like... And then the next thing I'm going to access is a plus 4. And so then it returns to that. And then I go and add Again, this same process of adding 400, 800, C, so on and so forth. So this is what my memory access pattern looks like in hex addresses. And this is going to be useful for us when we want to understand the cache misses. Because the virtue of looking at it this way is then I can divide up the bits and reason about the series of cache hits and misses.